Hey y'all, how y'all doing? What's up? Welcome to my channel. I'm Shay. What's the deal? Okay, look, we're gonna hop in real quick. I feel like I'm gonna do a read for like the week and I might come back, you know, Tuesday. What, tomorrow's Tuesday? Wednesday or so? I don't know. I don't know. But I'm gonna do a reading for the week. See uh, what you guys should be going through or should be experiencing or where your energy should be out for the week. I'm really gonna try to touch on everything. But you know how spirit work. They just give me the message and I rely. Okay. So um, let's work together here. How y'all doing? I'm awesome, superb, and amazing. Like A1. You know? Ain't got no complaints. It's Memorial Day. Wonderful Memorial Day out there. You know, it's beautiful outside. I ain't been outside. Listen. We about to go though. As soon as I finish uploading this video. So so, let's get to it. You know what? Um, please take this time, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. I'd appreciate it. And I do want to say thank you to everybody who has subscribed to the channel. I truly appreciate that. Like, I was like, I got 31 subscribers. Okay. Whew. Um, I do truly appreciate it. And I also appreciate those comments, too. I truly appreciate y'all. And I will be doing... A new moon how to do a new moon journal so it'll be here before the next new moon for sure i got you like i got you and i think that's it some of you guys need to have faith in the process okay or it's like probably not in faith in the process probably like faith in you like you need to believe in yourself okay but other than that what it is What's up? I was going to call y'all some hoes, but that's inappropriate. <laughs> oh, what's up? Okay. So, um, because that's the song. What it is, ho? Oh, what's up? Uh, yeah. So, anyways, let's keep it kicking. We're going to start out with some spare messages. And, uh, go from there. That thing just flew. I don't really take cards off the floor, but this is a child love. So I'm feeling like some of you guys probably have been doing some inner child work, really working on you guys' selves. Um, like really nurturing the inner child, which is also just so great. Um, and some of you guys need to really focus in and pay attention to your kids, right? At this time with the child love, they could be wanting attention right now. You need to go ahead and embrace them. So I don't like how this is set up. Okay, we're going to make it work. We're going to make it work. Let me see. That's what I'm saying. So, memories came out. This real deep. Okay, hold on. They got a lot of things to say. Like, do I just need to pull all of them? Like, I don't understand. Oh, this is for. It's hot. Start pulling cards and start getting hot. Wait a minute. You see, I can't even. There we go. <clears throat> I'm feeling like some of you guys have a, a mother or grandmother or a, a womanly figure who's trying to reach out to you at this time. And they probably have passed away because the picture is framed. So I feel like some of you guys could be trying to co uh, connect with your um, grandmother or mother and they're here. Um, they're saying just um, remember the good times. <sighs> Shit. If somebody just lost a mother, grandmother, auntie, likes a mother figure, I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, I'm so sorry. Because I feel like this really made... Um, I feel like right now you're going through a lot and you are really feeling lost and lonely. And what they're saying is that you really just need to love you and um, show and express that love. Like, build your foundation on love. Your mother, your spirit guide, your your new spirit guide. 
because she's with you. Um, I think she's like cheering you on. Like you got this, you got this, you got this. Probably why in the beginning I said what I said. Um, she's saying you got this. Don't worry about it. I'm always here. You're not alone because it's here. Um, it's basically saying listen, listen to your intuition because I feel like um. I feel like she's trying to guide you in the direction that you need to go in or she's been trying to contact you and they're basically like, I'm here. Um, Self-love here at the bottom of the deck. I feel like the more the more the more spiritual the more deeper into spirituality that you go, the further away from yourself you feel at this time, and it's all a part of the process. You get what I'm saying? Like it's all a part of the process. Um, some of you guys need to get out into nature, or some of you guys have been really communicating, or birds have been trying to communicate with you. Um, I don't know if there's a symbol of red that sticks out here or it's like maybe a red flower or maybe a red pendant or maybe you guys need to do some grounding or maybe you guys been seeing a red bird. I'm not sure, but um, definitely something with red. But also leave leave your light a candle for your loved ones. Light a candle for them at this time. Um, maybe you need to listen to some music to get some type of guided guided message um understanding that just because they're not here in the physical doesn't mean that they're not with you like i said they're with you whoever this person is that you have lost that you were looking to in very high regards and they were there when you, in your time of need they're basically stands they're basically saying stay grounded and um really stand up for yourself and what you believe in because they'll always be a part of you is what i'm getting now i know that's got to be only for uh one person okay so i might pull these back out later but just know that you are supported you're protected and you're guided um they're helping you make choices at this time um I wasn't expecting that message. I wasn't, not at all. Not at all. So let's look into your blockages for the week. So let's say, um, let's say Monday. So from Monday to Monday. Blockages for the week, please. Please, 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 and thank you. Fear. Courage. Some of you guys are overcoming fear, doubt, worry. Some of you guys are ex getting extremely disciplined. So your blockages is allowing fear to get in your way, and knowing when to have the courage, when to stand your, when to stand up for what you believe in, knowing when to push through. Um, these actually look really good. Give me one more. Thank you. Okay. Um, okay. So your blockages for this week is fear, allowing fear to get in your way, Allow, allowing fear and your negative thoughts and your the outdated thinking that you have for yourself, just things in general. Um, even with me going for the sunstone and picking it up, this is like a boost of confidence and also raising your vibration. So if you can get a hold to a sunstone, you can literally, I got this baby right here on Amazon for, I think $6. Okay. Don't worry, y'all. I'm trying, I'm trying to get my affiliates thing together okay i got a great friend zyra she be trying to keep me up so um but this is a sunstone so uh this is good for boosting up confidence and stuff like that um but so this week you guys will be facing a lot of fears a lot of just a lot of the things that you tell yourself moving forward um so it's like instead of letting fear get to you, you should be trying to push through the adversity and um, really tap in and have the courage. Like, don't let your thoughts in what people think about you or how people what 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 you think about yourself getting away from stopping you from moving forward. This is why the discipline card is here. It's like you want to do so much. You want to accomplish so much. But you also got to get into the groove of being disciplined. I can say this for myself. Right. It, man. So. If I can connect with it, I know you guys. Okay, so yeah, um, but getting disciplined and really finding your center. Okay, 
finding your center. This is where you stand your, your ground. This is where you stand firm in your beliefs, finding your center so you can get to the abundance because that is here as well. With the health, maybe you guys need to start focusing on your health. I'm me personally in the group. I'm trying to put, um, together a little detox so if you guys have um any suggestions that we can do for a seven day period for a detox please comment below e email me write me dm me all that okay because i want to know because i really want to put that together in between now and the full moon so we could really be working on this clearing process um back to the read sorry so i want that so, um, but you guys really need to be focusing on your health right now. Maybe doing some stretching or maybe get out and walk and enjoy nature. You know, go walk for around the block or something like that. But really need to take the time out necessary to really focus in on your health and do things in a healthy way. Okay? At the bottom of the deck, you have peace here. So, there's, I think I want five more. I think I do. Give me five more, actually. Give me five more. Empathy. Hmm. Pride. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, and then just going back to the read, because a child's love came out, then a mother's love came out. So I feel like there needs to be a connection or someone is trying to connect with you. I know I said that, but I just start thinking about it again. So that's a big message for someone. Maybe somebody is really trying to connect or you really needed to connect. And it's going to be a great connection. You don't have to worry about it. And like I said, if you did lose someone, they are with you. And they want to connect with you just as much as you want to connect with them. Um, so maybe if you've been missing like a grandmother or something like that, they with you. Um, but here you have empathy in here. So for others of you who's going to have a problem with fear in this week, but for a, another set of group of you, um, you guys will need to start seeing things from a different perspective. You guys need to start allowing yourself to be wrong. It's okay to be wrong. It's okay, even if you ain't wrong, just hear someone else out because it's like it's the message within the message. You get what I'm saying? So even if you're right, even if you're right, you're wrong because when it comes to seeing things from another one's point of view, doesn't mean it doesn't mean that they're wrong either. Do you get what I'm saying? It's just that's a law. So, um, yeah, but, um, so you need to be open to seeing things from other people's perspective, like having a change perspective, really trying to see the lighter side of the situation, really trying to understand where someone is coming from when they're expressing to you or when they're showing you a side that you've really never seen. You have to understand that sometimes you're a little bit more spiritually involved than other people. OK, and sometimes spirit holds you to a higher regard. OK, and they and sometimes spirit, universe, God, they expect you to handle situations in a different manner because you know better it has nothing to do with them it has something to do with you this whole past is about you and your journey and your growth so it's like don't let your pride get in the way here okay because you've grown you've already ended cycles and started new things you you've already disconnected yourself from things and you've already experienced the things that is being brought to you from someone else's point of view do you get what i'm saying so and then i just heard projection so a lot of a lot of what's going on is they're trying to project on you. And this is Spirit's way of saying, I'm trying to show you that you've grown past this. So how are you going to react to this situation? Are you going to go back, right? Because you're disappointing yourself. So are you going to go back and you're going to revert back to who you used to be? Are you going to allow yourself to come out of character? Are you going to stand in your truth and know your worth and know what your purpose is and not let this is what this is like finding your center. Um, you're going to stand in your, stand in your purpose and really handle the situation with poise you get what i'm saying like so you gotta really know how to level up on these hoes hello okay so um okay so then you have death here so i said death and then a lot of this stuff has a lot to do with your purpose 
So you're going through the things that you're going through and you're experiencing what you're experiencing because you have a divine purpose on your life. And you never know, you might be having to coach someone through the very thing that you're going through. You might have to be a, a motivational speaker or you might, you, you never know. But it all starts here with the imagination of how you perceive things. This is why they're saying to have empathy um, when it comes to certain situations, people, person, places, or things. Because you probably know what it's like to be put down or to be lost and confused and not really having nobody to talk to. So you lash out. Like, you know what that's like. So just have an open heart when you are experiencing things that you've already conquered. And then help someone else is what this is saying. Okay? I don't know, but it looks good. Just don't be allowing fear to stop you and block you. Like, fear is the things that you tell yourself to keep you from moving forward. Don't allow fear to rob you of what you deserve. Don't do that. What I say? Don't allow fear to rob you of what you deserve. I'm going to say it again. Don't allow fear to rob you of what you deserve. Okay? Certain things, you got to understand, certain things is not a compromise. Okay, so yo, your egotistical thinking, it got to go. It's not serving you anymore, especially in this upcoming week. You didn't planted all these seeds and stuff like that. Now, what are you going to do to get you to where you need to be? Okay, 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 because I wasn't going to pull none of these, but let me just see real quick. I was really about to pull some love oracles. Let me see. Com karmic completion this is what i'm saying so um a lot of you guys are wrapping up things and a lot of you guys are growing per personally a lot of you guys are disconnecting from unhealthy situations toxic situations look one of these cards flipped over you got pride again okay so this is like um so since either you're being too prideful and you're letting your pride get in the way and you're not seeing things from another perspective or you need to have more pride in yourself. OK, take it how it resonates, because I didn't even say that like this message may or not resonate with you. <laughs> Y'all know what it is. OK, Um, but you could be having you need to have pride in your work because this is pride and manifestation. So this is you need to have pride in your work. This is you needing to um, because you've grew past some things. You've already closed out cycles. You get what I'm saying? So in you closing out the cycles that you need to close. Now you need to understand that what you closed out causes for, it's time for a reward. It's a cause, and a cause and effect. If I do this, then this will happen. So if I close out all these toxic motherfucking relationships, after that, ain't nothing but abundance coming your way. Okay, so you need to have pride in the things that you're manifesting because they're coming into fruition. You guys need to get financial discipline, okay? Don't be out spending lavishly. Look, I need to start telling myself that. I'm a victim. You know the little memes you see on Facebook? Oh, I'm not going to order anything off of Amazon this week. Oh, I, I really probably order something from Amazon every week. I'm not doing it this week, okay? So, towards the weekend, energy, uh, I'm going to be able to tell y'all I ain't order nothing. Okay, one more. Thank you. Okay, because you guys are coming in, it's because it's the domestic harmony here in individuality so you guys are finally starting to stand into your truth and see who you are yes you had to go through some shit yes you did but you wouldn't appreciate the process if you didn't have to go through it know that okay so you guys are really starting to come into your own um with the domestic harmony card let me explain something to you because this right here to me it could be a breakup individuality and domestic harmony because this is supposed to be working on your relationship but with the individuality card that's you being by yourself standing in your truth your power and then you're going on a new adventure so um me personally this could be finding yourself finding your center but um this could be you leaving a situation okay look see hey, you ain't want, want me to pick it up this could be you leaving a situation you get what i'm saying this could be you leaving a situation and you finding your 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 what you truly deserve or this could be you standing firm in what you believe in and you like i believe in this fucking relationship we're gonna make this shit work okay but all in all the domestic harmony card is for you to come back to your center and really try to work on a relationship now wouldn't be the time to just do rational things make irrational decisions unless it's really toxic and unhealthy for you okay so look i'm doing good i'm at 19 minutes 
I'm feeling good. I'm sweating, kind of. I'm going to hurry up. I'm about to go. I'm about to go. Let me see what they got for you, though. Oh, sorry. Can we get a collective energy, please, for the week, Monday to Monday? Her energy, please, for the collective spirit. Thank you. Some of you guys could be healing family issues, right? Okay, I'm going to put these back. That was a lot. Come on. Some of you guys could be healing family issues, right? So at this time, some of you guys could have really been um, working on things within your bloodline, like um, karmic cycles, repeated cycles, um, things that's been passed down to you from generation to generation. But within your love life, I feel like um, some, some of you could have been really working and trying to work towards your relationship by being more playful and flirty and really trying to put the effort in and trying to get that spark back. Good fucking job. Okay, some of you guys could have went on vacation or could be thinking about um, retreating and just uh, going away with each other so you guys can really get in tune with each other. I mean, the world is shut down. That don't got to stop you from getting a hotel. Okay, let's get it on. Okay, I'm just saying. Go do something different. Go do something nice and, you know. Um, thank you. Okay. Okay, for some of you, some of you guys just got a relationship and you needed that time to heal. But you're take, you were taking the time necessary to heal. Some of you guys still need to express your love to someone that you feel like could be the one. But I, I'm feeling like they probably are not the one. Oh, because they probably wasn't the one. That's why it's reconciliation there. I'm like, what? Um... But with healing your family issues and painfulness, I feel like you just got out of something or you just took a break and, you know, you 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 took you took time away because you needed to because it wasn't working. There was just a lot of um, turmoil there, probably constant arguing or just going back and forth. Not nothing too extreme, but just stress. Right. So what I'm seeing here is that because you were doing the healing and working on yourself and finding who you truly was and who you truly are and what you want, this is where the playful energy and make the effort comes. And then um, you guys are trying to bring that spark back um, during this week at this time because I feel like you guys probably have been going through a lot. And now it's like, okay, so we're going to make this work. We're going to make it work. It's what this is saying. Um, but with the getting to know each other and the worth waiting for us and because you got getting to know each other for some of you guys, um, you guys aren't meeting someone new or like I said, someone is trying to come back around to you at this time and they want to rekindle some things like Venus retrograde is here. OK, that person that you knew when you was like in high school, college, in your 20s, yeah, they're going to come back and they're going to have a chance and it's going to be someone that you really, 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 really cared about. OK, to rekindle some shit. I'm good. I'm good. Leave me alone. If that's what y'all want, go for it. Go for it. New energy, me personally. But um, but moving forward, some of you guys are going to be getting to know someone. Someone wants to get to know you. This is why the Express Your Love card is here. Someone wants to tell you that they miss you. They want to be with you and they want to start all over. Um, with the Worth Waiting For card, I feel like you've been wanting this person to come back. Um... This person could, but, okay. Because there is multiple people here. Because with the worth waiting for, release your ex, and then the very soon card, this is someone really trying to come towards you, but they can't come towards you because you have someone. Do you get what I'm saying? Or you're holding on to someone that is not serving you anymore. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's like the person wants to get to know you but they can't fully get to know you because your heart is somewhere else but this heart this person that you are attracted to they are married or in a long-term committed relationship or with someone but spirit is saying that you need to very decide what you want very soon because you could be missing out on opportunity with the it's safe for you to love and the attraction card here 
Some of you guys need to release some things, forgive and release things from the past, which is the ex. So new things can come to you because you're going to be attracting new things. And the things that you're going to attract is going to be on a higher vibration because you're leveling up as a person. So um, you guys just need to be careful. If you guys are holding on to, to a person or to, to people, you need to let them go. And if it's meant for them to come back to you, they will. Especially if they can't commit to you or give you what you want because they're in a relationship. So, I don't know. Take that how it resonates. Um, I'm about to go. I'm about to go. Spirit, what am I going to do for the week? Collective energy, please. Thank you. Oh, that one to come out. Oh, that's doing something crazy. Oh, oh, when I was shuffling, this card came out first, bruh. I was shuffling this card flew out. It was like, how you doing? Look at the dolphins in the back. Somebody needs to look up the definition of dolphins. I can't remember what they what they mean, but they came to me in like one of the little love um, oracles I bought. This one right here. I bought this love oracle. Um, it came to me. It's a beautiful message. So look up the meaning of dolphins, especially if you're doing your own thing, your relationship, okay? Especially if y'all trying to rekindle and make some things work. It can work. It's just going to take some time. Um, what else? I feel like some of you guys are breaking free. This is what the domestic harmony is about because you have harmony, then you have domestic harmony. Some of you guys are breaking free. Some of you guys are breaking tradition. Some of you guys... Are clinging to the fucking past. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let me pull one more. Seven. Okay, some of you guys are breaking free. Some of you guys, like I said, are starting to, uh, uh, it's like you're starting to hear your heart sing. It's like you're starting to really understand that all this time you ain't been happy. All this time, you didn't know who you were. All this time, you were on a journey to find you and what you wanted. All this time, you were attracting relationships to show you what you was worth. And, like, not to show you what you was worth, but to to teach you what you were worth. Like, how many relationships are you going to be in and allow people to constantly disrespect you or not appreciate the love that you give? This is why you were attracting the relationships that you were attracting. Um but but with this so i feel like you guys are starting to understand that you guys are start, starting to allow your heart to sing and and really guide you in the way that you need to guide it to need to be guided um with the fool here it's like you're ready for something new you're ready to go on a new adventure you're ready to embrace and with the source here this is like spirit saying like that light within you let me guide you because it may seem regular to you but the picture that is painted is just so beautiful with ordinariness. It's like certain things just it's like you, the need to take things one step at a time and enjoy the scenery while you're doing it is what this is saying. So you holding on to the past and clinging. You see how congested this is you clinging and holding on to things that's no longer serving you. It's really keeping you back. It's really keeping you stagnant it's really not letting you go anywhere it's really more of a burden than it is anything and you see the burden card if you were looking at this the burden is looking at all this shit like you have to let this go whatever it is whatever it is holding you back you need to be a relationship a job a person family friends whatever it is is getting in your way you need to get out your own way hello whatever it is that's getting your way at this time some of you guys really need to do some turning in and calm those thoughts that you have in your head like even if you even if it's hard for you to meditate like listening to meditation music listening to mantras or really just doing affirmations really just doing affirmations listening to affirmations to rest assure yourself if you listen to affirmations they really are helpful um i'm starting to post affirmations at least one affirmation in the group every day um and this is thing these are things that uh-oh these are things that you can be doing for yourself. You get what I'm saying? Every day. Just take that time, even if, even if it's just a moment, just to remind you who you are and where you came from. Um, I like it. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, a lot of you guys are creating your own, uh, re uh, re creating your own burdens by clinging on to past relationships, things that aren't allowing you to grow. A lot, you're coming up as the empress here, and but you're holding on to unnecessary things, and it's time for you to let this go. It's time for you to move forward in a new direction. Um, and I feel like the connection could be strong because it's a past life connection, and you guys have been through many lifetimes before. But it's really all about like breaking the cycle because it's not saying that just because of the past life and it's a karmic relationship well no if it's a karmic relationship nine times out of ten it's not gonna work because karmic relationships are to keep you there stagnant so um but when you're soulmates and when you have a it's like i gotta i gotta do a video on this yeah okay so let's just keep it simple when you are when you when you have a connection with someone it does not necessarily mean that it won't work. It's just some relationships, you have to be able to work through the things that was built up in past relationships, in past lives. Think you, the karmic cycles, you guys have to be able to get through those karmic cycles together. And sometimes it takes a separation in order for things to actually work here in the physical. So, um... So with the turning in, it's like you guys are all over the place. You guys, like I said, you're, you're allowing your fears and... Um, things to really get to you on a mental level but you really need to be a rebel here and just fucking go for whatever it is you want like i don't care what it is like you deserve that shit and when you're doing it say i'm doing this because i deserve it don't worry about if it's gonna work how it's gonna work no just do that shit because right here listen this is the rebel do you see the chains being broken these are these these are cycles that are being broken, repeated cycles being broken. The the bird right here is saying, We're ready for lift off the fire. I'm ready to go for what I'm passionate about. And ain't nobody getting in my way. Now, this is where you are. If you look very closely here, I'm gonna try to leave it here so you guys can see. But if you look very closely here, the lock and the chain, but the lock is not it's, it's not there. The the lock is not it's not locked. Do you get what I'm saying? So you can easily Take the chain off and go outside the go outside the gate and experience whatever you need to experience. Go outside the gate and fly and soar and be great. But you can't you can't you gotta get out your own way, is what I'm getting. You have to get out your own way. So this week, you really need to focus on letting yourself be great. How can you be great? How can you be better than you was yesterday? What can you do today? That's going to be better than it was yesterday. When I also saw, because I didn't address that, I saw we are the world. So this is um, you understanding that you are connected to everyone. So when you see someone else and they leveling up and you're like, damn, how could I'm like, how did that happen to them? Like, first of all, understand that is you just expressing a different form. You just haven't got there yet. OK, there are still certain things that you need to experience in order to get there, which is fine. But understand that it's all a process. This is why empathy, empathy is there so you can change your perspective on how you're perceiving information because your empathy is turning into fear, doubt, uh, regret. We need to disconnect from that. OK. We need to disconnect from it. OK, so we're going to pull your best advice for the week. Spirit, what's the best advice for the collective for the week? And I'm gone, okay? I've been here for 33 minutes already. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Okay? That's who. Move the phone and everything. That's within the next few weeks. Okay? What else? So within the next few weeks, you'll start seeing changes. Okay, go to this compromise card. I really don't like this compromise card. I'm telling you. Uh, let me see what this is trying to say. Give me two more. Why is unlikely here? Thank you. 
Okay, so within the next few weeks, you're going to need to, this is, you, you're going to have a choice to make. This is why the compromise card is here. And you have already been given signs. You need to pay attention to the signs. That's going to lead you up to this decision that you're going to wake, make within the next few weeks. I'm seeing here that there is a peaceful resolution out of all of this. But you really need to clearly communicate what it is that you want. Like, this is, again, this card came out because you had very soon. So it's like you need to know what you want very soon. You need to, it's going to be a time within the next few weeks that you need to clearly communicate what it is that you want. Like, you need to know. And the dolphins are here again. Okay? The dolphins are here again. So um, look up the dolphins. But you need to clearly communicate what it is that you want at this time. Um, and a lot of this probably could have to do with a lover. So um, within the next few months, within the next few months, something is unlikely to change because you still haven't forgiven this person or you're still holding on to a grudge or you're still, you're still holding on to something not being the right time. And because it's not the right time, because it's not the right time, you're really trying to force it in spirit to say, no, it's just not the right time. You need to let it go. And if you let it go, meditations will bring you the answers that you seek in the near future. But right now, there is something better. They're trying to bring you big, happy changes, things that you need to take action on that will be successful. But again, you need to clearly communicate with your answers to angels and spirit guides and ask for help. And when they send you the help, be very assertive. But again, this is all up to you. Okay. That was great. That was great. That was great. I'm going to put these back. I'm going to pull three. Okay? And then I'm gone. But for a lot of you guys, something is not working out because it's just not meant for it to work out right now. Like, And if it comes back around, great. But if it doesn't, at least you got the experience and you learned the lesson. If you didn't learn the lesson, it's definitely going to come back around because you still need to learn whatever it is that you need to learn. Okay, I knew I, knew I felt another message because I'm like, wait a minute. Okay, for some of you guys, I feel like you guys are worrying a little bit too much. This is why the fear there with the empathy card, but it's saying you don't need to worry. Everything that's happening to you is up to you because like I said, I forever say this. You are the cre controller. You, con you create the outcome. Um, if you don't like the outcome, all you have to do is just change it. Now, I'm not saying it's not going to change overnight, but it's going to slowly but surely change with the way you think because you're going to be manifesting what it is that you want to feel and create at this at that time. But this is saying that you, it's up to you. You are ready. So it's time for you to take a leap of faith. It's time for you to go to the next level. And it's saying break free from the shell. Believe in yourself and don't stop. Keep pushing forward. And things will work out on your favor with the peaceful resolution card. It's going to lead to a lot of abundance. Do you understand what I'm saying? So get out of your own way. A lot of you guys need to reconsider. This is why the compromise card is here because it's really time for you to try to try to choose a new direction. The compromise card is you have to give something in order for you to get what you want because what you currently are doing or what you're currently experiencing or what you're currently wanting is not something that's um, in alignment with you. It's not something that is matching your vibration. So spirit is saying you have to let this go. And once you level up, if they've leveled up, then they'll come back to you or whatever it is. Need to be a job, family, whatever it is. You feel me? So... Ask your angels for help. Ask your spirit team for help. Ask for guidance. And they will guide you in the direction that you need to be guided in at the time. Okay? Ask your... I can't make this shit up. But in the meantime, between time, truly appreciate you for tuning in. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Lots of love, light, and happiness your way. Um, live your truth. Know your worth. Live your truth. Be great. Be you. Just be fucking you, which is amazing. All right. Bye.